I'm sorry, what did you say? I said you have to do some weeding. Are you trying to talk to me about doing weeding when we're going to go weeding. sourcing? You got to go do some yard work. <laughs> What's happening, guys? It's pretty much kind of like our favorite day of the week. Thursday! It's Thursday. We're going to be going and doing um, our giant loop, hitting all six savers, go to Buffalo Exchange, Zero Records. She sits in the car and is all sad while I do it. But you know what? If she doesn't go do that with me, I'm not going to want to take her with me. So it's what you got to do if you want to go with me. <laughs> really rude. <laughs> anyway, it's an awesome, awesome, beautiful day outside. And uh, we're also excited because we're going to, we, we're leaving a little early. We got our little Thursday ritual, guys. Uh, you probably have something similar. You probably have like the Everybody way. Everybody has a ritual, right? Yeah, uh -huh. for sure. And so for us, it's like, uh, you know, we have coffee at home every other day of the week she has her keurig i get up in the morning i bring her, her coffee i'm a little bit more high maintenance i like to grind my own beans and use the french press and i actually prefer the coffee i make at home but thursday is a little treat and we go to dutch brothers before we start uh, sourcing i would prefer dunkin donuts but dutch brothers is a good compromise yeah i well i mean it's not really much of a compromise because no, it's what i want what she wants. <laughs> are you seeing a pattern yet <laughs> Come on, Dunkin' Donuts, give me a break, guys. What kind of coffee do you guys drink? Anyway, we're going to go to Dutch Brothers, uh, and then we're going to start our little journey of the day. I'm pretty excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Woohoo! I'd be more excited if we were going to Dunkin' Donuts. Gross. It's like water. Coffee-flavored water. I'm an East Coast girl. Sorry. And you guys like it watered down? We like Dunkin' Donuts. No. Period. No. Let's go. They just opened up. We just pulled up. What, Good timing. Get, what coffee did you get? I'm boring. Americano. Yeah. Americano. Cream and sugar. Cream and sugar. I, on the other hand, got a delicious. This is a 911, ice 911, which is six shots. I mean, <laughs> but, but the key is to get it half sweet because they make it way, they make these drinks way, way, way too sweet. So I always get half sweet and it's the perfect amount of sweetness. This, this is delicious. my $2 it's coffee. It's delicious. All right. This is her like $8 coffee. It's not an $8 coffee. It was $8 for all of them together. Mm -hmm. It's her little treat. I don't need your judgment, okay? Oh, I don't need your judgment. I'm judging. All right, turn it off. I don't need your judgment. I'm going and getting men's stuff. All right, see you later. No! Uh, are you going to cry baby over there? No. Did you just get a new nose ring? Wow, wow. Um... No, I got, so, Platinum Fubu. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about Platinum Fubu? Meh, nah, hit or miss. Hit or miss, right? Yeah. It's a little bit behind the times. A little played out, it's kind of like Rokawar. A little played out, a little bit associated Back with uh, the whole Fat Albert, um, Bill Cosby thing. Mm -hmm. This was a little questionable. However, however, I couldn't pass up. Even with that said, well, now, normally, I wouldn't, hold those pants up. Normally, I wouldn't even buy the pants, because, first of all, I hate pants. I don't like to buy them. There is a reason why I'm gonna get these though. And it's because. Oh, it's a whole outfit. It's the whole set. So, and while alone, they may not sell for as much as a whole set, I should be able to sell these for a hundred. So spending about 20 bucks and, and making about a hundred, I'll do that. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I probably would have gotten it too. Yeah, so we'll see. Ooh. Ooh, this first. Not for me. What? I'm buying some stuff for Allie for. Oh, um, I was gonna daughter, say. Big girl job. Need some dress clothes. Uh, I would say though that this first stop is setting the tone for the day. Yeah, I've got nothing, so I hope not. <laughs> well, for me it is, and we all know it's all about me. It really is. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> no. Uh, what's what's going on here? I I literally have two things. All right, all right, all right. A little something, something, a little something, something, a little mm -hmm. something, something. We're here at stop number two. Are you ready to buy some stuff that's cool? You don't appreciate my talent. You don't support me. I think me. you used the term talent loosely. You don't support me in my dreams. Your dream is it to make up weird ditties in the car? <laughs> yes. Dreams? Yes. Okay. Anyway, we're at totally supportive. We're at location number two. 
Yes. <laughs> you got like a few things at the last place. Well, you got a ton of stuff for Allie uh, for her new job. Um, I found a bunch of cool stuff, some awesome t-shirts. What I love is when I find, sometimes it's like, yes, they'll price stuff high at some places uh, and some things will be high, but then there'll be other stuff where you'll find amazing vintage t-shirts and it'll be like $1.49. Oh, and then we're going to give you 25% off of that. I love it when that happens. It's super awesome. Oh, yeah. She's ridiculous. I love it. But seriously, that FUBU Platinum, that FUBU, I'm going to have to like force myself. I hate pants, guys. She's I hate going photographing to ignore them. it. No, 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 no. Hand it to me. No, in about no, no, three no, no, no. No way. This is, right. this is my pledge I'm making, and you guys can hold me to it. I am going to photograph those when I photograph my stuff for the week, and I'm going to get them listed. All right. And it's going to be a priority. Okay. But man, I'm going to hate every second of it, and I'm going to be like, eh, why did I do this to myself? Eh. She does mine like that at home, too. <laughs> it's not just on camera. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. All right, let's go find some more stuffs. Yes. Are you going to get married in black? I don't know. Maybe. This I'm gunny sacks, why aren't you buying it? It's not like a good brand? Um, yeah, it's not vintage. I mean, it's 80s, and then they want 15 bucks. and Yeah, too much. Okay. But you seem to be having a little bit uh, better luck this time around. Mm -hmm. If only I, was a I, on the other six. hand, am not doing so well, and I'm pretty sure that because I was so greedy at the last place, the thrift gods are um, raining spanking their you. wrath down upon me. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're spanking me. Uh, I do have a question for you. Um, would you buy this jacket right here? Now, this is vintage, probably vintage 80s, Las Vegas Hilton. What do you think? Yeah. You would? How much? Right. That's what I think too. Uh, $5.99. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, so Why me too. Ask me that? Well, I'm just seeing what your thoughts were. I was going to get it, but I just wanted to see what you thought because. because... Wedding dress is beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. fancy schmancy. Way too. But anyway, when it, when it comes to casino stuff, it's like it's everywhere here, and even the vintage, it's not like a closed casino store. I don't know. But I think it's a cool jacket, so I'm going to get it. Now, let's see. It's not focusing. It says, wow, I think it's it, yeah. 50. And they're selling for 50. Which for a brand new wedding dress is actually excellent. They How old it. is it? Can you tell? Uh, it's not old. It's not vintage. Are you going to get it? No, it's not my size. No, I meant to sell. <laughs> no. No, reselling uh, wedding dresses is very difficult. Okay. Okay, we just got out of there. You got a ton of stuff. I got three things, which is probably good because it's like we're going to go to six different savers plus Buffalo Exchange plus Zia Records. I can't hit every single one and find $100 worth of amazing stuff. It's just, uh, for one thing, that's going to get a little expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully the next place is going to be better for me. But you found some cool things, including, including one item that one of us, we haven't decided who yet, one of us will do a fashion show. Mm-hmm. Um, it might be me this time. It might be her. I was going to do it. I can't let Binky have all the attention. I was going to do it. She's like, what? It's my find. And I'm like, oh, you're going to do it? I might. You don't know. All right. So maybe at the end of this video, you're going to see. But there may be some sweet dance moves with the outfit. I can dance. Okay. We'll see. Or all we right. could do a dance off. We could each try them on and do a dance off. Last time you tried a dance off, <laughs> you lost. No, I didn't lose. The judges were wrong. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Also, when we were leaving, there was a disturbance at the Savers, uh, which I did verify. I took the cart back. This is one of the ones where you can take the cart out to the car. I took the cart back, and he was indeed dropping off his resume, and I'm thinking he's probably not going to get a job. Here's the thing. We hear this guy start yelling, and he's like, he's like cussing out the lady that works at Savers, one of the ladies. And then she's trying to kick him out, and he's like, you can't kick me out? I'm going to go buy something. I'm going to go buy something. I'm going to shop and buy something. And he had a piece of paper in his hand, and we're like, is that, his, like, is that like an application? Is that like his resume? Yes, it was indeed his resume. And I'm just going to say, uh, worst job interview ever. <laughs> Pretty sure he's not going to get hired. Though. I think he was just stopping by and like dropping off his resume. And I'm like, uh, maybe don't call somebody the B word and start dro dropping the F bombs and then be like, mm, I'm going to go do some shopping and here's my resume. Um, Bad. And he wasn't like crazy or anything. It wasn't like mental illness. It was just, I don't know, she did something that he didn't like, mm -hmm. said something that he didn't like, and he went off. And uh, yeah. That's poor judgment. I'm gonna say that's poor judgment, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. say you're probably not mm -hmm. gonna you're not gonna get a job. They're not gonna give you a jingle jangle on the phone and be like, "Hey, buddy, 
Come on back. We've got some hours for you. We're putting you on the uh, on the schedule. We've got a shift for you. I'm gonna put you in customer service. <laughs> not if, not if you're going around calling people names. So just a little hint, guys. Listen, we like to lay down the knowledge. We like to help people. We like to help people be successful. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, little hint for me to you. I'm not gonna get you a job. You ready for the next stop? Mm-hmm. Okay. You think there's just, like tacos in our future today? We just had tacos. Oh, what? What? Why are you always yelling? <laughs> tacos make me... <laughs> I don't even understand. Those words coming out of your mouth, they aren't even English. We'll see. Maybe. Didn't we uh, just have tacos? Didn't we just have tacos? We did. We had tacos. We had lunch with Dom. Okay, but that day. does not compute because there's no, didn't we already just have tacos? There's like, man, we just had tacos and I want more. <sighs> Guys, Vicky has something she wants to say. She's so extra. I'm like <clears throat> striking out big on this this place. One t-shirt and it's kind of mediocre. You seem to be doing a little better. Yeah, I got a couple, got a couple of, good of good stuffs. I got some stuffs at the counter I gotta get too. What's up? I have my big thing at the counter. Ah, she has a big, she has something real big at the counter that I don't know what it is. How much is it gonna sell for? Hundreds, like five, Hundreds? six, seven hundred. It's like what's the price at? Forty, so I'll pay thirty. So that's gonna be something you're gonna be showing on Sunday show. Yes. Uh, can you give us a hint? Category. Electronics. Electronics. Ooh, doggy. Fifty dollars. How much did you say they're they're charging for it? Forty. Forty, and she's gonna turn into hundreds. So check that out on Sunday show. What's going on over there? Nothing. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't what was know that you face? Were, because I looked down and I realized you turned the camera on. <laughs> All right, so we just had a really mediocre lunch, thanks to you. Yep. I, and, I chose poorly. And I think it's because you were still raging over your last experience mm -hmm. at Savers. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see her her thing that we were re really excited about that she bought. She paid 40 for it and could get as much as like a thousand for. Her. Uh, let's just say it was a little bit manhandled. <laughs> Not by me. <laughs> yeah. The Sabres employee that was called to help me carry it out to the vehicle dropped it like three times. Yeah. So some... it's on a no return item and I wanted to punch him right in the face when I said, I'll carry it. Ooh. And he refused to let me carry it and then decided Ooh. to wreck it. Ooh. You're, you're very calmly discussing it right now. Mm. Earlier there was a lot of uh, expletives. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of shouting and yelling. Mm -hmm. And uh... I'm sorry. So we're going to have to see if that still works. So we may, we'll talk about it on Sunday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now we're going to hit Buffalo Exchange. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff to take in there, but I'm hoping I find some cool things to resell because I got one item at the last thrift store. Mm -hmm. I got I got ahead of myself at the, at the first stop and uh, super I got real excited it about it. Tone for the day. And, now, and now I'm a little defeated. But actually, um, I'm sure I'll find something good at Buffalo Exchange, so I'm looking forward to it. All right. But uh, I'm not going to take the camera in there because it just doesn't really... It's not really a, a filming kind of place. They probably wouldn't care. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little awkward. All right. Let's go check it out. You're awkward. Aren't you happy that the sun is out again? I'm very happy. I love and the sunshines. Nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Love it. Burning your blues away. Uh, so we just got that at Buffalo Exchange. Um, uh, they took some, I didn't take a whole lot in there and they, there were only two t-shirts that they didn't take that I brought in. And so I got like $40 credit and I found a bunch of cool stuffs. I was a little sad because I didn't find any sweet, uh, ski t-shirts and I'm really into those right those now. Are your favorite. They're kind of my favorite right now. I'm kind of mm -hmm. digging them, uh, but they didn't have any, but I did find a bunch of other stuff. It was good. And we had a good chat with the girl behind the counter, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway. Yeah, and they got one all right, and I'm excited to show some of what I found at uh, on Sunday show. But uh, and you found some good stuff next door, right? So uh, now we're going into the good old Crazy Town Savers, and we'll see what we find in there. And I'll bring the camera. This is number four of six. Of six savers, yes. Yes. Number five of the steps, but whatever. All right. Six, if you count mine. Mm, yeah. Hey, lady. Finding anything good here? No. No? Yeah, I'm only getting one thing. I mean, I'm going to pay like 30 bucks for it, but it's a 
Columbia down jacket that I should, they'll, should be able to sell for a hundred. Really? But not very exciting. Yeah, I don't, I don't find that Columbia sells that. Quick. Well, it's a, it's, it's the much. specific one is um, this turbo down. Yeah. It's a special. Yeah, I don't usually buy the Columbia, but I don't know. What do you think? Are you almost ready to move on? I am. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to finish looking down this aisle. Okay. Sounds good. I heard that Dana was sending you threats. She's a little upset that we're in Crazy Town. She told me to get off my lawn. That's what she said. Uh, well, earlier she said she went through Rancho yesterday and bought everything good, so she can suck it. <laughs> Hi. Filming with my phone because I forgot to bring my camera in and I'm tired and this is the last place and aren't you kind of tired? I'm done. Not too much stuff. I didn't get too much. Found a couple of cool things. I don't know. I'm curious about this. I got two of these. It's a CNET Run DMC at CES 2019. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a techie shirt, but then it also has Run DMC. Yeah, they performed here. My friend Dave was the bass player for them. That's very cool. Uh, but there's none of these t-shirts up on the Ebays, and now I have two of them. So I'm pretty much going to price them at $500 million. Oh, perfect. Yeah. They totally sell. Right. Like that. Like that. Like that. Both anyway. Sold. Uh, all right, you think you ready to go home and unload everything and maybe finally go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vicky has to pee, but she thinks that the bathrooms here are gross. I'll just hold it. <laughs> okay, two hours. let's go. Sometimes, sometimes I look at these kids, these young kids that are over there, like they're looking through t-shirts, and I just think to myself, I already went through all those t-shirts, and I pretty much took anything that was worth taking. And I feel kind of bad for them. And then I think to myself, no, I don't. I don't feel bad. Because I got all of it. They're getting educated. Are they getting educated? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Victoria. Yes. So, uh, so, uh, what's up, boy? <laughs> what? Why? What is that? No, this is it's supposed to be down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you get it, man. Come on, be cool, man. Be cool. I was not this cool <laughs> even in the 90s. All right, now can you turn around? No. What? <laughs> the come on, you guys. My shirts all rolled up. And <laughs> <laughs> These <laughs> are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. Oh man, OMG. Yeah. Kid and play wore these in the 90s. Pretty much. I'm pretty sure those if came I could directly. Do a running man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's probably that's probably the best find of the day. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I like this little I like this little uh, yellow pocket right here. This little thing right here. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it's just like one little. It's like a little, just a little flap hanging out. It's actually a pocket. Oh well, it's a big pocket, but it's got this like tiny little tiny little flap. These are anyway, fantastic. Guys, these will be available for sale. Probably they're probably gonna be about seven hundred and fifty dollars. At so least at they least. were on me. <laughs> those are amazing. Uh, actually, my favorite part about you getting those is the lady who who rang her up said that the day before there had been a young guy there and he had just been staring at him and like like he was trying to decide for like a half an hour if he was gonna get him or not. Uh, well, guess what? You snooze, you lose, buddy. Listen, these are sweet. I don't know why he didn't get them. Hold it, hold them up so that well, once you get them out, so people can see like in their full glory. Come on now. Like these. What is the are brand? Some pretty fantastic '90s. Um, boutique Europa. I love, I love the color, the different colored pockets. These are just. They're this beautiful. This is my favorite find of the day. They're beautiful. You know, it's not maybe not like your highest. It's not going to be like your your highest ROI, but oh, I'm going to get a hundred bucks out of these. They're pretty. I know, but you got the other thing you're going to be showing on Sunday that's even better. That's so true. whatever. Anyway, guys, we're done. It's super late. We already had dinner and stuff, but uh, you know what? We didn't get as much stuff, which I'm actually glad about because I have a lot. I have other stuff ready to be listed anyway. These are huge. And so, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you're just still marveling over I know, them. I had to put them on over all my clothes, but they, yeah. they're pretty big. So I got a lot, you know, way less t-shirts than I usually do, but I got some really cool stuff um, that I'm excited to show you guys, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about, I'm pretty happy. I got, I found some stuff I'm really happy about, and um, you, what do you got going on over here? I got some good stuff. I think that's your huge alley pile, isn't so, it? No, that's... No, oh, that's over there. Yep. This is my stuff I got for resale, 
I got uh, one thing I picked up at Buffalo Exchange. When is this video coming out? Well, this is coming out the day before Sunday. So, All right, so, so really this is lots of lots of hinty McGee's going on some here. Previews. Lots of hinty McGee's. Hinty McGee's, really? Yeah, that's hinty McGee's. Okay. That's the official terminology. All right. All right. Um, so I've got some hard goods. I got a little bit of little something something over here. Little something something. Little something something. New in box. Paid up a little bit. For okay. That. Cool. So I'll go over. Very cool. Get some good stuff. Now this is all stuff. This is all stuff. You know, not to get distracted here, but this is all stuff you've listed and needs to be put away. Is that right? Yes, that was some of my stuff yeah. I listed this week. I'm, I'm slacking. Get your get your shit put away. Mm -hmm. Get I your shit put away. put away. Sorry. Anyway, but yeah, that's that's what it's all about. We usually don't have stuff. Well, what happens is you list it. And then as you list it, it migrates out here. And then usually at the end of the day, it gets all put away. So this right. isn't easy. So I'm totally not, slacking. And we I'm just like, saying, usually it's house, part of the yeah. process, but usually this is clear. Um, mm -hmm. Relatively so. So anyway, yeah, that's like the little preview, guys. And uh, I will. A pile of clothing that I picked up for my child who has a new big girl job. Yeah. It's some. Uh, some office wear. Yeah, very cool. So she's got like a whole wardrobe there. Yep, that's what that's what happens when you have a thrifty mom. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, uh, we will be showing uh, everything. Well, not everything, but the highlights of what we got on Sunday's show. Mm -hmm. um, and by then, I should have like all of mine photographed already and ready to list over the next week. Um, because really, the way the way I like to do it, basically we both do it, mm -hmm. is you know we'll thrift all day today, Thursday. And then I will do my regular listing tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, Friday night, I like to do my prep work. And then Saturday, I'll take the whole day to photograph everything. And then the rest of the week, I list all of that. So I photograph everything, measure everything, weigh everything that I source this week so nothing gets left behind. And it's just the cycle just keeps going. Mm -hmm. Pulling over and over again, you pretty much do the same thing. Pretty much. Because, yeah, guys. Working on about a... 10 to 14 day cycle right now. I'm not getting it all done in within a week. So about 10 to 14 yeah. days. Well, neither am I. I'm getting it all photographed and stuff. Uh, but like I haven't listed everything that I sourced last week yet. I'm behind like a few days. But I actually like to be that way because if anything comes up or for some reason like we can't go sourcing or whatever, it's like I've got stuff I can list for mm -hmm. a little while before I have to do it again. But I like to get it all photographed and ready to go right after we get it. So eventually it gets done. But pretty much. that's the key. You get to source, you get to have fun as long as you are getting that stuff listed list. so it's working for you because otherwise, what are you doing? What are you doing, guys? Doing the fun stuff, but you're not making any money. What are you doing? Can't, can't sell it if it's not listed. What are you doing? Get it listed. <laughs> get it listed. All right, I'm, kinda, I'm getting kind of sleepy. I'm done. I'm, I'm toast. done. Done. We're toast. Day. All right. See you guys later.